the last Thursday of the month of November is always Thanksgiving in uh, the United States. It's a big holiday for them and it is also being seen as the great time to shop with hot deals. That's when you actually see the uh, Black Friday phenomenon, the Black Thursday phenomenon also take place. How are Indian brands doing this time around? You're seeing a resurgence of coronavirus in Europe, but in America, how are their sales doing? So we are reaching out to two startups who actually make a killing at this time of the year in the United States. They export primarily via Amazon. Joining us today are the founders of Vadam Tea. So we've got Bala Sarda with us. We've also got Dan Vilshet, the founder and CEO of Skillmatics. Uh, Bala, I'll come to you first. Uh, you know, you really arrived on the global map after Oprah Winfrey listed Vadam Teas as one of her favorite gifting ideas, right? I first met you at an Amazon event when Jeff Bezos was visiting India and you actually got an award from him. Tell us this time round, how has uh, Vadam Tea done for Thanksgiving? Are we seeing more um, exports from India as far as these holidays go? Thanks, Sana and Tara, for having me uh, on the show once again. Uh, uh, for all entrepreneurs, you know, playing in global markets, and Tara, this is one of the most exciting weeks, uh, you know, given that is Black Friday, that is Cyber Monday, which tends to be uh, the highest sales days uh, in markets like America and even markets like Europe, UK, Germany, Italy, France, and Spain. And, and even for us, I think, uh, you know, we run our biggest sale of the year um, uh, at this time of the year. We have launched a lot of exclusive products um, uh, for, for consumers, especially for the holiday season, which is primarily the next 30, 32 days uh, before Christmas. And I think overall, the outlook looks very positive. We have been, you know, it's been a tough year for us. And I think uh, Dhwanil will agree uh, around supply chain and logistics. Uh, you know, I think uh, air cargo has been, you know, almost three times the cost uh, since the pandemic. Uh, there's been a big uh, shortage of containers, which has led to sea cargo being uh, three to five times being more expensive. Uh, there's a lot of choking around in, in ports like New York, LA and across across the world. Uh, so it's been tough that, that way. But I think overall, I think, you know, we've been uh, tracking the early numbers in November. I think there's a lot of liquidity in the markets. Last year, people could not shop the way they generally do. So we, we believe uh, this is going to be a very positive season and we are seeing signs of recovery uh, even in our revenue, despite, of course, the fact that we already got a big spike last year. I think uh, the year looks very positive and we're looking forward uh, to Black Friday and, of course, the remaining part of the season. Danvir, coming to you now, you had given up a rocking career as a consultant. Uh, I think you were with BCG to, you know, have to start this uh, uh, company, which is going to be exporting games, uh, uh, skilled games out of India. Cyber Monday, Black Thursday, what is it looking like for Skillmatics? You also, of course, ship primarily to the U.S. riding on Amazon. Um, yeah, I think that I would um, to a large extent echo what Bala said. Um, the early signs are very, very promising. Um, we've see, we've been tracking our numbers, you know, since the beginning of November, and um, moving into this absolutely crucial week where 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 we're anticipating a huge growth over last year. Um, I think there are a couple of factors that have actually helped. Uh, there, as Bala said, there's been a significant constraint on supply chain globally, and whether that's rising costs, whether that's you know uh, constraints at ports, especially on the west coast in the U.S. Uh, what that's done is that, and that information is, is very widely available to U.S. consumers. Um, and there's been a lot of press coverage about this topic in America. And so what we're seeing is a lot of consumers pre-poning purchases, um, and which is why we anticipate even larger sales uh, in this crucial week and on Black Friday and Cyber Monday, uh, because I think a lot of consumers are paranoid uh, that they won't get their products or their Christmas gifts in time. Um, and in our case, Christmas gifting to children is, 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 is a large part of the sales drive during this period. Um, so I think the combination of the, you know, preponement of the purchase as well as like the lot of the, the, the sheer demand surge that we're seeing in the US, um, I think is, is, is setting us up for a, for a very exciting week. Uh, and like Bala said, I think this is, a, this is one of the most thrilling weeks uh, when, you're, when you're running a business, uh, especially one that sells online in the US.
Dwani, the U.S. aside, I know your largest market is the U.S., but you know the world is getting smaller and smaller. I mean, uh, to think of it, till a few years back, uh, people did not celebrate Halloween as much as they do now in India as well. Just wanted to understand, I know while India may be a very, very small market right now, what's the India potential going forward for businesses such as yours? Got it. No, I think uh, I think like you rightly mentioned, you know, we have seen uh, a big shift of these events uh, even coming to India, right? So I think be it Halloween and in fact even Black Friday, uh, you know, even uh, in India we are doing a Black Friday Cyber Monday sale, and you will see a bunch of uh, you know D two C brands uh, doing that. You we've also seen Singles Day, right, which is eleven November, uh, you know, and and a lot of brands actually use that as an event to also uh, get consumer just because of the wide press. You know, some of these events tend to get now even in India. Uh, but overall, like you mentioned, yes, for us, India is a relatively smaller market. But I think it's going to be a market which grows one of it, it could be one of the fastest growing markets for us. Uh, you know, like I previously mentioned, uh, you know, for a brand like us, uh, us in the wellness space, uh, I think the pandemic has uh, has made this fundamental shift uh, uh, for consumers. Uh, you know, who are looking for trusted. High quality brands. That's number one in this space. Uh, number two, you know, there's been this big shift of consumers to e-commerce, right? And we being digital first brands, I think that gives us an edge uh, in terms of you know reaching out to them and you know grabbing a larger part of their wallet uh, as as they move to these channels. Uh, so I think uh, you know overall, I think even India, I think the next few months, uh, and and of course winters uh, tends to be uh, in any case, uh, you know, our higher sales period for us, given we sell products like teas and superfoods. So I think overall, even India looks very positive uh, for us as a brand. Pala, purely in terms of business, given that I understand 70% of your business caters to the USA, UK and Europe geography, uh, you know, given that we're coming off uh, from a long period of the pandemic, and I guess this is going to be the first festive season where people are actually getting to go out and celebrate. Uh, I hope things are under control when it comes to the third wave in Europe. Uh, but that said, what's the business or revenue potential uh, for you that you foresee up until Christmas and New Year? Uh, I think uh, overall, uh, you know, you're right. I think this time a lot of people will actually also go out and buy, which did not happen last year. But I think overall, if you look at the market, right, in terms of percentage of users in America and Europe who were transacting online two years back versus today, I think there's a phenomenal shift. So, you know, overall, as a business, you know, we've been growing 100% year on year. I think even this year, uh, you know, in this period, we are uh, aiming for 100% growth from last year. Uh, despite a lot of these challenges we have faced. So I think, uh, uh, you know, and I think the basic reason for that is just a higher number of people coming and buying online. Uh, uh, so so I think overall uh, for us, uh, you know, I think the focus for the next 30, 35 days is, you know, to ensure that, you know, we can keep our products in stock, you know, keep tackling some of these supply chain challenges uh, so that we come out, uh, you know, with the numbers we are targeting. Tanvil, let me come to you. One question I want to ask you is, um, you know, and you talked about it, that Christmas is obviously a big time for the kids. Uh, this year, you, however, are seeing Thanksgiving uh, being bigger than last year. At a time when it, there's so much screen time, how are you actually positioning your products? And how is it that you're becoming a favored player in North, North America? You know, just some hacks for all of those who are tuning in, other exporters, other D2C brands, because it's pretty commendable. No, thank you, Nezara. Um, I think the way we position ourselves and actually what's been really instrumental to our success has been two things. So one, taking um, a very education first or skill first uh, positioning as a brand. Uh, while we do play in the larger toy and game category, uh, we don't make products that are just play. Um, in fact, most of our products are developed by educators and teachers um, based out of India. And now we have a team in the US as well. Um, so I think at a brand level, that's been uh, that's resonated really well with consumers because uh, most of the market is is very play first companies, and so uh, having that differentiated positioning has definitely helped us. 
I think the second piece is just uh, being able to come up or innovate on the product itself. Uh, very honestly, like competing in the, U- the U.S. market while extremely large uh, is is brutally competitive. Uh, and, you know, we're competing with, uh, you know, on one hand, large U.S. brands with, you know, hundreds of millions of maybe some cases, billions of dollars of revenue. And, um, and on the other hand, you have like Chinese manufacturers who have, you know, substantially superior cost structures. Um, but the good thing, though, is that in our category, if you're able to create uh, products with differentiated IP, um, like fundamentally, a learning game is, is unique in itself. And uh, if that finds resonance with consumers, uh, the ability to scale that up is very, very large, given the depth of the market. Um, so I think that would be by, uh, at least given our experience in the US markets, is that uh, focus on innovating and creating a differentiated product. And two, focus on um, you know, building a brand narrative that's somewhat fresh and differentiated in the market. Uh, while it's early days for us, I think those two pieces have come together um, and have enabled us to actually build significant traction into, into the US and Canada. Over there, we are running out of time. Uh, so Bala, I'll make this my final uh, question to you. I'll ask you about hacks. Uh, Vadam, like I said, arrived on the map when uh, Oprah Winfrey lifted it as one of her favorite gifting ideas a few years ago. How did that happen for all the other exporters who are watching right now? How to get something like that? I think uh, that the only hack uh, you know I tend to share with everyone, which and which in fact is the truth, is you know when you're selling a consumer brand, you know just sample it out to as many consumers as possible, right? I mean, and if you look at our marketing strategy, fifty percent of our uh, brand marketing budget is purely into sampling, which basically means you know uh, there is a there is a team we have. Uh, whose, uh, whose sole job is, is to just ensure that we sample our products to as many people as possible. Uh, and, and, and of course, because we believe in the product, uh, you know, we invest in the supply chain. We know it's, it's a product which is uh, you know, at par uh, you know, or, or better than most uh, brands out there. So you know, that obviously helps. Uh, and, and that's exactly what happened with Opera and all these other celebrities we have you know, worked with. They all drink tea and we said, why can't they drink Vadam India? So... Because you're getting hacks also from Skillmatics uh, as well as Vadam T on how to grow your brand uh, with an overseas play. Uh, and then, of course, take advantage of days like Black Friday as well as Cyber Monday. It's been a pleasure having both you, Danville, and Bala on the show. Uh, thanks a lot once again. Aisha. Thank you.